You argue that Johnson is a slave name. Absolutely. I, I, I ask this particularly because a lot of black Americans still to this day carry their uh, previous slave Don't owners. say black American, say American African. American African. Yes, sir. You do know that a lot of African Americans don't like that term. Well, they use African American. We're comfortable with African American. Yeah. But I prefer American African. Okay. Because we are not Americans, never have been, have never been treated as such. Yeah. And the adjective precedes the noun. So when you say African American, mm -hmm. you're describing a type of an American. Okay. We're not Americans. When you say American African, you're describing a type of an African. You're saying that you wouldn't be with a single mother that's a millionaire? It wouldn't be my first option, no. You said a millionaire. Would you argue that Johnson is a slave name? Absolutely. I, I, I ask this particularly because a lot of black Americans still to this day carry their uh, previous slave Don't owners. say black American, say American African. American African. Yes, sir. You do know that a lot of African Americans don't like that term. Well, they use African American. We're comfortable with African American. Yeah. But I prefer American African. Okay. Because we are not Americans, never have been, have never been, are not Americans. Shalom, Kohalal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. In the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. <clears throat> And real quick, I want to touch on this video with Dr. Umar. He says, um, you know, they're talking about African American, American African, which re really we are not African or American. Okay, we ain't American or African. Okay, we are the Hebrew Israelites, the biblical Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. And you must come back to Yahweh by Hashem Shai if you want to be saved. All this uh, Pan African shit, man, it, 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 it goes nowhere. Okay, it goes nowhere. America is about to be destroyed with thermonuclear missiles and how, you know, he's talking about going back to Africa. Why doesn't the gang went back to Africa yet? You know, which he, he's been there, but he, he always comes back. You know, all these Africans, they always talk about going back to Africa. Well, guess what? You go over there, but you always come back. You know, why don't you stay your ass over there, man? You know, but I'm going to start off with this right here. This is Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. It says, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. So our people have discontinued from the heritage the Most High gave us. And we know we're the Israelites because they give us a different name every 20 years. Negroes, niggas, uh, blacks, Afro-blacks, Afro-Americans, African-Americans, now American-Africans, you know, black Americans. And I get that, you know, a lot, you know, um, you know, uh, you, 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 you hear that a lot from like the, the other, you know, uh, Southern Kingdom tribes like Levi. Uh, uh, the Haitians or Jamaicans, they'll call us here in America, the, the Negro Americans, they'll call you black Americans. You know, I get that a lot. Which we are not black. We ain't Americans. Okay. It says, um, even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. You see, so we disobeyed the Lord and he was upset with us. So he caused us to discontinue from our heritage. OK, and go in this land and serve our enemies. And now Jake calling themselves African and African-Americans. And which really when you go into those words, African and even American, they both come from white men. OK, Afri um, Ameri uh, Amerigo uh, Vespucci and Africanus something. You know, I forgot, I forgot their names. They don't really, you know, it don't really matter. Them fucking devils. But pretty much this land was named after Edomites, man. You know, so why would you still name, uh, call yourself a a after the names of Edomites? And he he mentioned too, our last names um, come from slave names, man. Our last name, we still carry the names of our slave master. And it's something that I advise all you, you know, you um, Jakes to do, you know, pr pr predominantly you so-called Negroes in America, is to look up your last name, man. It goes back to a plantation. I looked at my last name and it goes back to a plantation in uh, North Carolina or South Carolina, one, um, one of the two. And, I, and, and then I asked my own, um, my, my, uh, it's a plantation out there, which now is like a, a, a national park, or whatever, but it's a bunch of land. You should just see all this land. But but when you go into the history of it, it talks about the history of that plantation, which was owned by the French. 
you know, my last name comes from the French. And I asked my grandma, I want to talk to my grandma a while ago, and I asked her, you know, um, where did my ancestors come from? You know, where do our ancestors come from? You know, you know, about my, my forefathers and my foremothers. And she said that my, um, my, my, my grandfather was a slave in, um, North, North, um, Carolina or South Carolina. I can't remember which one, you know, I always get it mixed up, but they, it, they uh, uh, they, they, they were slaves out there. Okay. And my great grandfather met, you know, a native American and Cuban, so-called Cuban woman, you know, uh, that was here in the Americas and they had children, you know, Vince, hence my, my, um, my, my uh, bloodline. That's what my bloodline goes back to. So when you trace your bloodline back, you're going to find that it goes back to these plantations. And I still carry the last name of that plantation. Okay. I'm not going to tell you my last name, but I still carry that last name, man. Okay. I can, you can go, I can go on Google and look up such and such plantation and you're going to find it. And I advise you, 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 you to do, to do the same, but, um, um, this guy, Dr. Umar, man, that pan African and shit. I remember, you know, when I first started seeking the truth and I was on the internet, on YouTube, searching, searching hard, you know, trying to find this truth. Um, uh, and, um, <clears throat> um, I remember I was, I, I was actually studying, um, you know, from this guy and I, you know, I, 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 I went, I brought it to my family. And I was like, we Africans, we Africans. And then my auntie, which she lost, she don't know what the fuck. But she said something. And I feel like the Lord had her say that. But she was like, I ain't no damn African. You know, she pretty much snapped like, I ain't no fucking African. I ain't no damn African. And I, and I looked at her like, well, then, then, oh, and I looked at her and I was like, then what are you? And she didn't know. But when she said, I ain't no damn African, that shit stuck with me heavy. And I just I kept repeating in my head, I ain't no damn African. I ain't no damn African. And that's when I ended up coming to the knowledge of us being Israelites. Okay. So we know them Africans. And I remember, I remember I actually, you know, reached out to this guy. I called him and then I texted him about, you know, pretty much, you know, helping him, you know, for, you know, the Pan-African and shit. You know, and he never got back to me. And I'm thankful for that, man, because I would have been out there lost, lost and confused talking about talking about we Pan-African and shit. We know them Africans, man. OK, we are the children of Israel. Let's go to Second Chronicles, chapter six, verse thirty seven. It says, yet if ye yet if they bethink themselves. So we had we had to bethink, which means to remember ourselves. And the land whither they were carried captive and turn and pray unto thee in the land of their captivity, which is what we're doing now. We turn it back to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and we pray unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. It says, saying, We have sinned and done amiss and have dealt wickedly. If they return to thee with all thine heart, with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their captivity, whither I have carried them away captives, came over here on slave ships. And pray toward their land. We pray towards the land of Jerusalem, the east. It says, which thou gavest unto their fathers. So it's, so our, our, even our land is not Africa. It's Jerusalem. Okay, Jerusalem is the mother of us all. Which that's where everybody, you know, originally came from. You, we all, it all started in Jerusalem. All right. But it says, um, which is, uh, Slakia, which is, uh, Slakia, um, and pray toward their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers. And toward the city which thou hast chosen, and toward the house which I have built for thy name. You see, we gotta go back to our name. You know, Israel being a prince of the power. Let me grab this real quick. Because see, Jake, when they call, call into these other things about African and I'm this and I'm that, guess what? You are, you know, really, you know, leaving your true name for a curse, man. Okay? You're leaving your true name for a curse, and that's not something to, to, to be proud about. You know, let's go here. It says, um, Isaiah chapter 65 verse, uh, let me get right to the point. Isaiah chapter 65 verse, uh, 15, it says, and ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen for the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. So you Jakes that's here in America, that's, you want to be Africans, you want to be uh, uh, um, shit, you nigga, niggas want to be everything but an Israelite. Black, you want to be, you know, uh, what, what a nigga told me the other day, a, lot, a couple of months ago, an Asianic black man, you know. Nah, you, you're you leaving your, your, your true name for a curse, okay? And, and, and the true elect, the true Israelites are going to come back to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, in truth and sincerity, man, okay? In truth and sincerity. All right. And that's going to take you, you know, 
to be reborn, to, to come back to who you, who you truly are, you know? Now we've been called all these proverbs and bywords, okay, niggas, you know, and every, in every land you go into, they, 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 they got a different, you know, um, they got a different, you know, uh, what is it? A different uh, ra a racial slur or name for you, man, okay? It says, um... <clears throat> It says, Psalm 44, verse 14, Thou makest us a byword among the heathen, and shaking of the head among the people, right? Um, which the, the, the head is Judah, you know, the head tribe is Judah, which, which they will call African Americans or Negroes, the real Jews. It says, Thou makest us a byword among the heathen. So now these heathens call us all different kind of names, you know, and you don't know who you are. You have no idea who you are. You lost to confuse. You think you this, you think you that. You know, it shows, shows you that we are those people, man. Okay. Let me go here. It says, um, Deuteronomy, this is the curse. Chapter 28, verse 17. It's like Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 37. It says, and thou shalt become an, an, an astonishment. And you, you look at Jake, they're definitely an astonishment, man. Right through the hood one damn day, man. You know, you got to lock your doors. It says, a proverb and a byword. Among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. So, yeah, no matter where you go in this world, you're going to have Jakes in these particular, you know, countries. And they're going to be a byword. They're going to be in the ghettos. You go in the word ghetto, it means where where, where the Jews do, do, do well. Okay, so we ain't Africans. We ain't Pan-Africans. We ain't fucking Americans. We ain't none of that, man. We're coming back to being Israel. All right? Come, come, come to turn back to, to your power. Okay, and if you don't, guess what? You're going to be destroyed. Okay? You're going to be destroyed. Let me go, go here. Let me go here real quick. So lucky, bear with me. Um, let me let me get this. Uh, because you got to come back to Ben Israel. If you want to be saved, you got to come back to Ben Israel, man. The Lord ain't coming to save no niggas. He ain't coming to save no Americans. He ain't coming to save no Africans. Okay. The, you 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 gotta forget about that shit. Like I said, I you know I, I almost fell, fell fell into that snare. You know when I when I when I when I when I, when I came when I started seeking this truth before I came into the truth, I was searching, bro. I was all over the internet, you know, and I eventually found the truth on YouTube. You know, I, it was like I walked past the camp, you know, I I I found it on YouTube, and I remember I had a dream, and in the dream I was running, you know, um, in in that day all hell breaking loose, and I had fringes on, okay, and um. I remember I saw IUIC on YouTube and they had fringes on, you know, I was like, oh, shit, you know, you know, what's going on here? You know, and, and, that, and that's what led me to come, to come into the truth. Immediately, ultimately, I had a dream and I was, and then that day I had power. I had a dream and in the dream I had power um, and I was, you know, being delivered from my enemies. But but I remember having fringes on and when I had my fringes on, you know, I was like leaping over, you know, fences and then the fringes were, were like flutter. And I and I and I remember that vividly from that dream. So when I was on YouTube, looking for the truth, asking questions, I had all these questions, and I saw the Israelites that are teaching with fringes on. I said, "Hey, hey, man, this must be it." I remember seeing that in my dream. And before that, I had never seen fringes, but but before, you know, besides like on a flag or like on some drapes or some shit, I never seen fringes, but 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 before. All right, so let's go here. It says, um, Leviticus chapter 22, verse 32: Neither shall ye profane my holy name. But I will be hallowed among the children of Israel, and I, I, I am the, the Yahweh, which hollow you, and that's what the Lord gonna he 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 he's humbling Jake, man. Okay, let me grab that too, man. I'll close out with that, cause um, um, you Israelites, man, you know which it which which, 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 which uh, the name um Jacob was later called Israel, which um in the Hebrew is Yasharala, okay, a uh, he a prince of the power. So that that's way better than being an African or American named after some damn Edomites, man. All right. And that and that also takes you to be humble to 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 to, 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 to rethink and, and it's a lot of Jake think 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 they got it all figured out. They think they know everything. All right. A lot of times logic can't get it cuz cuz you, you you can't tell them shit. You try to tell them you try to tell hey, but let me let me, speak, let me tell you something. Or oh, let me tell you something. I know I know something too. Nah, nigga. Okay. You don't you don't know what you think you know. All right. Um, let's go here. It says, um, Second Chronicles chapter seven, verse uh, fourteen. It says, "If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves 
and um, they're talking about African Americans. The African Americans come from the tribe of Judah, which means Yahawada, okay? Yahawah praise, okay? Um, Yahawada, okay? And that's, you know, even, even my, my son, I named him, you know, in his, in his name, his middle name is Yahawada, okay? Yahawah praise. So we are literally called after the name of the Most High, all right? Not, not to mention Israel. It says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and, and will forgive their sin and heal their land. You see? And that's what we want. We, we want our land to be healed. We want to turn back to Yahweh by Shema Shai and truth and sincerity. And Lord willing, be saved, man. That's the whole point, you know. You, if you ask Dr. Umar what the hell he going to do when them, when, 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 when them missiles rain, you know, he don't know. You know, and this guy was supposed to have built, built, built a school or something, you know. And I don't know how that panned out. You know, people saying how he's a con artist and shit, man. You know, he was, he was on, on the internet begging people for, for money so he can start a school. You know, a nigga still lost, man. You know, so beware of these individuals that claim to, to, to know, know who we are, that claim to know the truth, that claim to be, um, you know, for the people. And they're really not. You know, really, they just for lining their own pockets. All right. Don't be deceived by that, man. And, you know, there's a lot of false teachers and false prophets out here that will try to deceive you into some bullshit like this, man. Like I said, I almost got deceived by, 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 by this shit, man. I almost, you know, was a pan Africanist, you know, teaching uh, some, 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 some African bullshit, man. You know, those Hamites, those Africans, they don't like us, bro. They hate us. You know, you go fuck around them Africans over there, them niggas will eat your ass, man. They'll, they'll chop you up and eat you, put you in a stew, and eat you, bro. You know, so why the fuck would you want to beat them? Some damn dude, some damn booty scratches. You know, that's something to reconsider. All right, like I had to reconsider. But that being said, I'm going to say, Shalom, promise you all love. Bye bye, 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 bye,